Managing your library in Worship Song Band. The library page in Worship Song Band shows all the songs in your library. All the titles for the songs and providers and all this information is in the tracks.txt file that is in the zip file for each song. So when the Worship Song Band player application launches, it just reads all of the zip files from its library folder and presents you everything in the library. You can go on to build sets and play songs. So what we need to do to manage the list of songs is to manage the list of zip files that are in the library folder. And this is a little different for each platform that we support. So we're going to show you right here. On Windows, the way that we do this is as follows. We use Windows Explorer application in order to manage the library. When you install Worship Song Band on Windows, you probably use the default, which was to put the application under C, Program Files, Worship Song Band. This is the install folder for the application. Then if you double click Library under here, you'll see the list of files that are in your library. If you manage the contents of this folder, you'll manage your library for the application. So if you delete something from here, it won't be found and won't be used in the application. If you drag something into here that you downloaded or obtained from another source or got off your iPad or whatever, then you put it in here and it'll be found for that copy of Windows. That's how you manage the library folder on Windows in Worship Song Band. On the Macintosh, this process is a little bit different. This is just a, a static screenshot from a Macintosh. And what you see here is that the library, application support, worship song band folder is where the zip files are found. So you go onto Finder like this, and then the library is a hidden folder, so you have to sometimes press the Alt key so that the library folder will show up in Finder. And then from there, you just click application support, worship song band the list of zip files is right there. You drag and drop in and out of that folder in order to manage the library on a Macintosh. Just like on Windows and in a different place. The only way that this process is different a little bit is for the iPad and even then it's not so different. The way it works on the iPad is as follows. I have my iPad 2 connected to the, my PC here. This is the library list here. If I take my iTunes and I click on the device, I'll see this screen right here, iPad, name, etc. And you can manage your iPad from here. On these buttons here, which are right below the Apple logo, you'll see where you can slide across to different things you can do with your, your iPad. I'm going to click on this folder, this uh, button called Apps here. And so what I'll have then is just the list of apps on my iPad with an option to sync and stuff like that. I'm going to scroll to the bottom of this. What I'm going to see is a section called File Sharing. The apps listed below can transfer documents between your iPad and this computer. I'm going to click on Worship Song and my library for that iPad is going to appear in this list here. So now I'm looking at a copy of what's stored, or not a copy, I'm looking at a list of what's stored on that iPad internally for my library for Worship Song Band. And here I can manage this list just like I do under Windows. I can drag things into it. I can drag something out of it. I can press the press, click on something and delete it or whatever I want to and then what will happen when I do that is it will sync my iPad when I do that. So if I delete that for instance, it deletes over here. Are you sure you want to delete this selected document from your iPad? Delete. 
it's gone and so that's how I'll manage it. Um, it's probably more important to manage the library size on the iPad because as you can see these songs for uh, like an 8 or 9 track multi-track could get up to 50 megabytes so if you had say 50 songs in your library on your iPad you could start to consume some pretty good space on there so so the best the best uh, the best thing to do is to manage what you're using at a given time but anyway so that's how you manage the library f folder for content you obtain for worship song band